Breaking news, Nigerians. Peter Obi expressed great shock over the planned abolition of 200 houses for the presidential fleet. Yes, my country people. Peter Obi has been, you know, one of the critics of President Bola Admetinipo's administration. Now, Obi has expressed shock over the recent report that the Federal Capital Territory Administration has ordered the demolition of 200 houses in the Unwagligi community close to Namdi Azikiwe Airport in Abuja to make way for the presidential fleet. The Director, Department of Development Control, Galadima, on, on Tuesday during a community and citizens' engagement in the community, hinted that about 150 to 200 houses with additional commissioner shops that are attached to them would be affected by the demolition exercise, which is on the request of the Nigerian Air Force. Obi, in a series of posts on his ex account, said the actions mix of high level of insensitivity, wondering how a presidential fleet is a priority at the time the citizens are going through a tough time. I mean, Obi has expressed great shock over this recent development and he has expressed that this is indeed very unfortunate that the Nigerian government has decided to embark on such an inconsiderate project at this very crucial time when the country is going through untold hardship. They should really rethink this, you know, matter because how would they come about, you know, the development of a presidential fleet? when they should look at how they can bring up more, you know, crucial projects, more critical projects to help the people. Instead of demolishing the people's homes, they should bring about projects that will help the people. In a country where the World Bank has announced that over 100 million citizens are being pushed into poverty, should not at this time be sending thousands, I mean hundreds of people, into homelessness to accommodate the presidential fleet of luxury aircraft. And Nigeria should focus on how to lessen the pains of the suffering masses, on how to lessen the pains of the suffering people, and not how to increase their pains. So the former Nambra state governor has maintained that Nigeria government cannot continue this way. Nigerian government cannot continue to encourage those to encourage the lifestyle of, you know, trying to make Nigerians suffer, keeping people in intense suffering while they go ahead to enjoy a luxurious, a, a luxurious lifestyle far beyond their legitimate means. In a democratically elected, people-oriented government, must always have self-care for the people, must always have care for the people. So we are said, see, oh, this thing, they should have a retinko. And most importantly, Nigerians are not to be rendered homeless for the sake of an unproductive presidential fleet. Instead, the Nigerian government should focus on helping the people, should focus on developing our critical sectors, our crucial sectors, for the sake of our national peace, progress and development. No nation grows or develops by subjecting the people to avoidable inconveniences just to accommodate the luxurious excess of its rulers. It is not done anywhere. Yes, Obi has been a very popular critic. You know, in fact, one of the critics of this present administration. On different occasions, Obi has gone to, to you know, to the Twitter space to share his own views of what's happening in this country and the steps that this government are taking towards, you know, uh, imposing their policies, which Obi sees some of them as anti-people policies. These, these, these policies, these uh, projects are not even favoring the people in you know in in the best place so we have stressed that at this point the government should first of all prioritize the pressing needs of the people which is security education employment removing people from poverty and to also empower the youth 
But if you talk about building this presidential fleet and you are to demolish 200 houses, 200 people are going to go down, 200 families are going to be rendered homeless because of this very project that the president is about to embark on. So my country people, what are your thoughts on this? Yes, I know a lot of people would say, eh, Peter B should, you know, go and sit down. Peter B is always fond of criticizing the government. Well, everybody has, you know, its own voice either to speak against the government or supporting what the government is doing. But OB has, yes, been a voice that has always been, you know, talking about things that this administration has been doing that is not quite favorable with the masses. Now, Nigerians have reacted. The presidential fleet and homelessness, poverty, joblessness, and the inherent increase in insecurity. The president just wants to embark on the demolition because of fear. Now, Obi is always commenting on these things. Hardship is man-made in Nigeria, but then... Peter Obi is not the first Igbo man to shed, to shed crocodile tears. May God give us a kind of leader like Obi, who has always been speaking the truth. Okay, Peter Obi is right, but he can never be the Nigerian president. We know him and his political grimmicks. No vote for Obi in the core north, and we still stand on our decision. Okay, Obi is trying to remain relevant. It is understandable, but only the gullible can fall for that. We are, we are there. There is no demolition. So what is happening? Okay, guys, these are reactions from Nigerians. So my country people, what are your thoughts on this? Yes, people are saying, well, at this point, Peter Obi shouldn't be concerned about what's happening in this current administration since he has already lost the elections he should go back and try to restructurize you know try to gather people on how to you know win the 2027 elections if he is eventually going to come out as you know any of the presidential candidates ahead of the 2027 elections while others have said well ob no matter what you say you can never be the president of this country so guys kindly share your thoughts on this in the comment section thank you